Hi there and welcome to this week's Golf Equipment q and I'm Valerie Melvin here with Frank Thomas and we're in the Frankly Frog putting studio in Orlando, Florida where it's our mission to help you improve your putting. Back home. We're back home. We hope you enjoyed the few Q&As we posted from the home of golf. Um, we had some great experiences over there and we're happy to share them with you. We had some, some good days, three good days. Three beautiful days of weather. <laughs> we won't talk about the rest though. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, we, we gave you some information last week about plumb bobbing and the fact that many amateurs do plumb bob um, and we had a flurry of questions, people interested to learn a bit more about plumb bobbing um, and why it works or doesn't work, Frank. Well, that, that's a good question uh, because in 90% uh, of the time, maybe 99% of the time, uh, people who plumb bob really don't know exactly what they're looking at and you ask a number of people what exactly they're looking at and how they're determining whether or not the uh, plumb bobbing is, is giving them any information, you're going to get many answers. A lot of professionals on the tour don't use plumb bobbing correctly either. So uh, in the text we go through the process very specifically but you've got to remember when you're going to hold a, a putter up to get a vertical line hold it up such that the shaft goes through the center of gravity of the putter uh, in that plane because if you do it this way you'll see that the center of gravity being back often this is what's going to happen you're going to tilt it up exaggerate it but that's what's going to happen so you have to rotate it such that the shaft goes through the center of gravity that'll give you the vertical line that's the first thing second is your, your dominant eye, the eye you're going to be looking through, has to be on the top of an isosceles triangle. And, <laughs> and, and, and the ball and the hole and the line directly under that, that uh, isosceles triangle have to be all in a straight line. Right. Now, assuming the entire green between you, the hole and the ball is all on the same slope, only then will you be able to plumb bob correctly and you'll be able to determine and judge whether or not the ball's going to break one way or another. Okay. <clears throat> if your feet change and the slope's different all over the place, it's not going to work. So people basically, do you think people just use plumb bobbing to you know, give them an idea or help them look for breaks? You know, people obviously don't really understand you know, that procedure. No, they don't. And, and therefore they're not, not sure what they're looking at. But it does give you a sort of a, 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 a pacifier, so to speak. You know, you're holding it up, it gets rid of some of the nervousness, or it makes you look as though you know what you're doing and you feel more confident in it. Or, in fact, what does happen sometimes is if you have a vertical line, a true vertical line, your eye is so good at judging right angles that you can actually see the terrain around and it gives you some idea. A flag stick, if it's vertical, helps you. Right. So this will this will help uh, do that. And so that's, that's uh, what it is. But, um, you know, don't, don't rely on it. Very good. Now, that was really interesting. Thanks for that, Frank. Well, we will be in touch with you again next week. Until then... May the frog be with you. Ribbit. 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 Find your frog at franklyfrog.com. Ribbit.